Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeza and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, if you're seeing my face for the first time, you are highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on this video, okay? So yes, you guys, I tried to do my makeup, but I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't continue. <laughs> After I did my eyebrows, I was just like, I, I can't do this. I can't, so yeah, just accept my face the way it is, okay? At least I tried to align my eyes small. Anyway, so in today's video, I am going to be addressing some of your assumptions about me. Yes, I did a video like this a while ago. I think we were, we were like um, 3K subscribers at that point yeah so but now we are almost at 15k so i want to do an updated version of you know your assumptions videos and you guys had some pretty um interesting assumptions i'm going to be addressing them um in this video okay so yeah if you like to hear whether your assumptions are real or true or not then just keep on watching So in this video, I'm going to be as honest as I can and I'm going to be answering your assumptions. So the first one is your husband doesn't like you doing YouTube. Okay, my husband, you could not even give me small space, like you just, you just jumped in straight. <laughs> if your husband doesn't like you doing YouTube, well, yes and no, okay? Yes in the sense that um he's not a very public person i think i've said this before he's a very 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 private person he will rather me not be on youtube but since i'm on youtube and i like it and i'm enjoying it and i'm getting money from it he doesn't well he has a choice but he doesn't really have a choice okay so he supports me doing it he just doesn't want me to be too public about some things about our lives so i always try to balance it i always have it at the back of my mind when i'm creating content that i have you know my husband and my kids to think about so that's really one of the reasons why i don't even like vlogging that much because personally i'm also kind of private not with friends but in with the public i'm kind of private okay i don't like to there's so many things about myself i don't really like to share in public okay so i've said this thing before that i'm not doing youtube for the fame or for the recognition i'm just doing it for the money okay aside the trying to pass the information across and help people and other other stuff okay if i can do those things without showing my face or without people knowing who i am i'm good okay i'm not doing it for the fame or for the recognition i just need the money and to fulfill my desires okay <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I'm not one of those people who likes popularity or like I can very okay being on the back seat or at the back seat doing things on that ground. I'm very okay with it. So the next assumption is that you can't do without your husband. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I beg. Also, I say I don't need a man. I don't need a man. Okay, that's for you. Me, I need a man, and I have a man. Okay, I need that. <laughs> You intend to do gender selection to get a baby boy. Hmm. Oh, Chimo, I have asked this question before to you guys. I am not trying to have a baby boy. I am not specifically going to try to have a baby boy. What I might do is adopt a baby boy in future. But when it comes to adoption, I still believe that it should come from the heart. You should adopt who your heart accepts, male or female. You shouldn't just go picking like you are choosing a, I don't know, like you are choosing handbag, okay? So adopt as your heart accepts. So if my heart leads me to a baby boy, then fine, but I am not trying to have a baby boy, okay? The next one is that I assume that you will be a strict, you will be the strict parent. Hmm, funny enough, not really. Oh. My husband is actually very, very strict. Me and my husband, we are very, we are strict in different aspects. So, some things my husband is strict about, I'm just like, oh God, relax now, it's not that serious. While some things I'm strict about, he's like, madam, relax now, it's not that serious. So, we complement each other in that aspect, okay? Uh, but I'm really not the strict parent. Even though I shout more, I shout more, but my husband is more, um, he follows through with his instructions and his you know like if he tells you don't do this and you do it he's going to punish you for it like he won't just let it slide me i'm kind of person that when you now change face especially ever occur when they now do face <laughs> i'll let it slide him he will not let it slide like he will do what he said he was going to do which something i'm also trying to learn myself because with children you need to follow through so i don't know i'm not joking okay so sometimes they see me as well like i'm their mate when i say something they will not answer me <laughs> i assume you're really shy and a mind your business kind of person 
yes i'm well am i still shy over the years i've become less shy than i was at, in, at this point i am way less shy than i was last year or two years ago or you know so yeah but generally i'm still a shy person kind of and mind my business kind of person yeah i actually like to mind my business but if you don't want to help yourself i will help you mind your business <laughs> but yeah generally like i really don't care about what happens with other people i don't know sometimes i have to say that is it that I'm, I'm heartless or is it that i don't really care about people I don't know what it is to be honest i don't know what it is but i really don't care that much about what's happening on anybody, in anybody's house or what people are doing with their lives I, I i really don't care but yeah generally i care but specifically no i really i like to mind my business so the next one is i think you are a sucker for love but you are not a die in the marriage person yeah this is really true I like love, I like romance, I like marriage, I like oh, husband and wife and being together, happy family, um, stuff like that. I love it, but I don't believe that you should die because of man. Like, it doesn't make sense. That's not why you're here on earth, okay? You look like a no-nonsense person. Like, you won't take shit from anyone. Also, an introvert. <laughs> Funny enough, I look like that, but I'm not really like that. I'm actually... Uh, I don't know. I actually take a lot of shit from people. Like I, I actually know how to take a lot of shit from people. Uh, I'm an introvert, yes. But I think it depends. There are some things that I tolerate from people that you, you might be like, is this one okay? Like why are you tolerating this person or why are you uh, friends with this person or why are you accepting this person's bullshit? Okay, so actually with friends, I think I take a lot of um nonsense from friends but if you're not my friend if you are one random person on the internet like I, I i just don't have time for that so the next one is i assume that your humility is top notch i still can't get over the fact that you follow me and acknowledge when someone tags you oh really <laughs> okay humility is top notch see when once you start telling yourself or once you start admitting or once you start you know, agreeing that you are humble, you are no longer humble, you are not humile. So, thank you for your assumption, but that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> then she also says, I also assume that you are a jealous lover. Hmm, am I? I'm not, though, funny enough. I'm not actually a jealous lover. Am I? I'm not unnecessarily jealous. Let me put it that way. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that I don't search. I don't carry my mouth and I start searching. Did anybody call you? Did anybody text you? Who you? Who are you talking with? Or if I see him on the phone and I be saying, Who are you talking with? Who is the first? I, I'm not a kind of person like. <laughs> I can keep saying, the things that keep me up at night are not things that keep most people up at night. Okay, so yeah, in that sense, I'm not a jealous lover. Like you will not see me searching my husband's phone looking for anybody or anything, or trying to eavesdrop or trying to find out. Or <laughs> life is too short. Okay, it's when you believe that your own your life is over. That's when you'll be you'll be you'll be killing yourself for somebody like that. But when you know that you have a lot of things to offer this world, and you have a lot of things to do with your life, and you have a lot of I have a lot of advantages being alive. Or how do I put it? when you know that you are an important person like i used to feel myself <laughs> yeah in my mind like i'm i'm all that plus more so it's him that should be jealous it's him that should be checking my phone or should be baby is dropping not me so yeah i'm not i'm not a jealous lover at all but it doesn't mean that if somebody now tries to overstep their boundaries i will not go there and say sister like <laughs> you know but one one good thing about this whole thing is that my husband campus doesn't give me he doesn't give me reasons to be jealous or reasons to be worried he's at home 247 like 247 like it's even me that goes out more than my husband um yeah you hardly hear him making any suspicious kind of calls in fact i don't even hear him making suspicious kind of calls like i don't know i don't know people that people that are people that um women that women that worry themselves so much about what their husbands are doing i feel like it's because the husbands are giving them reasons to worry so in my own case i don't really have reasons to worry you know like that but that's something i'm not seeing though know, okay so some of you that want to go and be searching for our husbands on social media just know that we are seeing all of you okay <laughs> so yes, yes yes like confirm that people that go to search for our husbands on social media try to follow them try to send them messages don't worry we they see all of them now just because we keep quiet does not mean that we don't know okay just putting it out there mm -hmm. okay so another person says i love your two daughters thank you and i think you like trouble past fights <laughs> 
Oh no, if you're loyal students, <laughs> you think I like trouble past fights. Do I? No, funny enough, eh? I don't like wahala, I don't like stress, I don't like I don't like fight, I don't like quarrel, I don't like all oh, this, oh, this one said that one did not say I don't like it. Okay? That being said, if you now come to me and come and look for my trouble ahead, then that is when you will know that I mean self that I'm quiet or that I ignore some things, not that I don't have sense, okay? So yeah, but basically I, I generally do not like quarrel, like it, it's I don't know, it's not I don't like when the atmosphere is tense and people are quarreling and you know drama all kinds of things. I don't like it. You are fun to be around, I can see it. Hmm. Am I fun to be around? <laughs> My friends will be the one that will have to judge. I, am I really fun to be around? I'm not that I'm not the fun friend though. I'm not that friend that's going to be like, let's do this, let's go here, let's <laughs> I don't do that kind of I'm not that kind of friend that you know always has the latest plug for the most interesting places to go to or the most interesting things to do. I'm more of the quiet friend who is like, well, if you tell us, let's go, me, I'll follow you and go. But I won't be the one to, on my own, be gingering everybody to have fun, okay? So, I don't, I, have, I don't know if I'm fun to be around with. Someone says, I assume you attended NNSS or Jaw. Yes, I attended Nigerian Secondary School or Jaw. Yes. You are a very wonderful and free-spirited person. I watch your videos and I'm falling in love. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm actually a free-spirited person. Like, I'm not really... I'm not the kind of person that makes friends easily, but I can be friends with anybody. Like, anybody that brings their friendship to my doorstep, I will accept your friendship, okay? I won't go out of my way to make friends with everybody, but I, am, I can be friends with anybody. There's nobody that I will say... Like I've said it before, there's nobody that will say that, oh, I can never talk to this person again, or my person can never be friends. I can be friends with anybody. I think Cora is a really, really smart child. Thank you. Yes, she is. Thank you. Next one is, I assume that Ava might be more troublesome than Cora. Hmm. Nah. You don't even know the half of it. That Eva, you pass in. You pass in Eva with innocent face. Hmm. <laughs> you don't even know the half of it. Eva, Eva's own is. Eva is kind of person, Eva reminds me of my husband somehow. Eva is kind of person that, I won't say she's mean spirited, she's not. But, your, your reaction does not phase her. Let me put it that way. Your reaction does not phase her. So, if she wants to do something, if you like cry, shout, scream, she's going to do what she wants to do. So, she's like my husband in that aspect. Uh, I always pity Cora because Cora is more emotional. Cora is always like, oh, Eva, my sister, my sister. Well, Eva is just like, please hold it there. But one good thing about Eva is that even as, you know, mean like she tries to act sometimes, Eva is actually a very, very big softy. Like, she loves her sister so much. Like, if I want to threaten Eva, I'll threaten Cora. Hey, that's why you now see Eva's true color. So, for instance, if they are together and I say something like, Cora, if you do that, I'm going to spank you. Eva will come and meet me and tell me, if you spank my sister, I will spank you leave my sister alone like that's how <laughs> that's how you know protective Eva is of Cora if for instance I'm playing with them play fight or just play like that day we were doing water play I was just doing play fight I was not saying I'm a shark I'm going to bite you Eva just stood up came to meet me and said no no mommy don't do that I said protecting Cora should, should I kept Cora at one side like no mommy don't come here no leave my sister alone so yeah even as she's troublesome she actually loves her sister you know a lot you are reserved more like quiet for your marriage i assume you wish hobby was more available hmm how do i answer this question yes and no yes in the sense that when he's not around i'm just like oh i miss my husband i wish he was around you know when the kids ask about him it's actually it's actually mentally or emotionally draining when your husband is not there you know most of the time and i really feel bad for women who are single moms i don't even know how they do it like it's time i anytime i'm in, do, in those weeks where my husband's not around i feel like a single mom and that as it, i feel like a single mom just because i'm taking care of my children alone no it's not like i'm paying their school fees or i'm making money for them or you know just taking care of them and i feel like that so imagine single moms who have to make the money and still take care of their children alone like my heart goes out to any of them okay they are really really strong women so yes in that aspect somehow i wish he was more available but the truth is that when he's around he is very very available like i don't know he's very i don't know if i said this thing before he's very hard working very domestic i don't like saying men are domesticated because we say women are domesticated just because they are doing housework so let me just say he does work around the house you know very well 
when he comes back, I don't know where the laundry is. I don't know the direction to the laundry because he's the one that washes all our clothes, all our clothes, all, all. Just, just, as I said, all our clothes, okay? I mean all our clothes. So, he loves to wash clothes. So, he washes all our clothes. Um, he cleans the house sometimes when maybe the cleaner is not available or something. He cleans the house. Um, what else? He does everything. Like, he's very, very available when he's available. When he's not, when he's at work. He's still available we still you know communicate through maybe video calls you know whatsapp we still communicate when we can he talks to the kids uh, sometimes he watches us through the cameras in the house because he has access to the cameras uh, you know when he's in at work so he watches us through the cameras in the house you know if something is spot he fixes it even from there like he can sometimes he will call me and tell me plumber is coming to do this in the house electrician is coming to do that i don't know all this plumber electrician uh, solar the panel the, this one this i don't know anything about what goes on in this house aside me and my children and food and kitchen i don't know how you know other things in this house are done he always makes sure that everything is done to perfection so whenever he's around he's walking around fixing things you know calling people to fix things making sure that we are comfortable so i really cannot complain like i would be a very stupid woman for me to complain that oh my mother not around 247 i wish he was around 247 because he tries his best whenever he's not around he's still i don't wish to know that oh foil has not finished or foil he's gonna call me from there and ask me how many jay cans of our foil are left um you know about the general i don't know as in i don't know how to explain it but all i'm saying is that I can't really wish for him to be more available because he 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 bends over backwards to be available for us. So yeah, that's all I'll say. Um I said a lot. I said that's all I'll say, but I've said a lot. You've got really smart kids. I hope your next child is a boy. Uh thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so the next assumption is you are rich and also reserved. You look snobbish from afar, but very friendly when one gets to know you yes you are very correct i am rich i am very rich okay don't think i'll come and use my mouth and come and spoil my destiny i am very rich i am very wealthy okay <laughs> okay i'm very rich i'm wealthy money is not a problem for me wealth is coming to me from all the corners of the earth and wealth is you know my portion in this life okay so yes um you're also reserved yes i am you look snobbish from afar my dear this is the story of my life all my life i've always heard it you look snobbish you look like a, a, a devil you look like you don't take rubbish from people you look like you look like see i just have resting bitch face i am not snobbish at all in fact the reason why many people might think that i'm snobbish is because i'm quiet and reserved and actually shy so some people might see my shyness as ah she doesn't want to talk to me because she's, she's snobbish no my sister i'm actually shy like you need to be the one to bring out the chattiness from me okay so it's not like i am i'm not snobbish at all yeah but you but very friendly when one gets to know you yes you are correct you are cool-headed introvert and smart thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> So the next one is i assume you love cora more than eva i don't know but i feel so whoever wrote this thing i have a feeling i'm not a mom because if you're a mom you will know that you don't really love one of your child more than the other like i don't know maybe some moms do but you can't i, don't, I can't even picture how i'll love one more than the other i only relate with them differently cora is more um emotional she's more chatty she's more um i don't know how to explain it she's more i don't i want to say romantic she's not romantic but cora is actually a very emotional child you know so i react i relate with her differently and she's more mature she's older so she can talk we can really you know discuss so i really her differently from eva eva is younger eva is not really that emotional but trust me eva is like my handbag at this point she's kind of I don't know that the umbilical cord they did not cut it well because Eva still sleeps in her bed. Yes, after we've chased her away before. So now what she does is she comes to her bed to, to sleep off. We'll carry her back to her room. Then in the night around 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. She will walk her back, open our door, shift us and lie down and sleep. Okay, so I don't love anyone more than the other. We just relate differently. I don't even know how it's possible to love one child more than the other. I really don't. I really don't know because even in cases of where you have older children i think what happens is that 
you have more emotional connection with one child over the other depending on how that child relates with you so for instance uh, maybe you have four children but you have one who is always calling you always checking up on you always coming to you know sending you things always finding out if you are okay trying to make you comfortable it's only normal that you be more attached to that child than the other children. Doesn't mean that if someone comes and carry a gun and tells you shoot one of your children, you just carry a gun and shoot shoot one. Okay, it's not going to be easy. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. That's even for older people. Though. But for when they are kids, I can't even. There's no difference. The next assumption is you have a perfect marriage. What is the secret? Will you tell me now? Can you swear now that you are not looking for trouble? Can you swear that this is your comment, this is your assumption now, it's not you trying to poke the beer. You want to hear my mouth. You want to hear from my mother. Ah, my marriage is not perfect though. My marriage is not uh, this one. Though. Ah, don't say that. Though. No marriage is perfect. Yes, I have a perfect marriage. What is the secret? The secret is God. Thank you. Even if they divide you into two, you will quarrel with your other half. Like you will, it's not, it can never be perfect. Even if they divide into two and say, uh, that we divided into two, this half is your, is the husband, this half is the wife. You put away with sick quarrel. I'm not talking about when you now go and marry a stranger, my dear. No marriage is perfect, okay? There's no perfect marriage. But for me, a perfect marriage is a marriage where both parties are working together to, you know, keep the family together, to continue to, to be in love, to remain in love, you know, to working together for peace, for harmony in the home, okay? So there might be distractions, there might be conflicts, there might be struggles, fights, quarrels you know derails whatever might happen along the way you are both willing to put in the work to you know remain together and to you know make the marriage work okay so for me that is a perfect marriage it's not that people don't have issues or don't have quarrels but just make sure that both of you are you know you are, you are together forever you want this person's happiness at the end of the day you want to remain with this person you want to you know take your family to the next level of glory or bliss okay so once two of you have that goal in mind and you're working towards that goal there's nothing you cannot overcome okay the next one is you don't have a lot of friends yes i don't have a lot of friends the next one is the world of youtube has taken you outside your comfort zone making you interact more openly this is a hundred percent correct okay the next one is you are a no-nonsense very disciplined type of person and you tolerate but and yet tolerable and accommodating mm, yes 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 actually actually but i'm not very disciplined though i am not very disciplined i'm not even i'm not even gonna lie i'm not very disciplined i try to be but i'm not very disciplined so the person you described here is my husband he's a no-nonsense very disciplined yes tolerable and accommodating you describe my husband for me I'm tolerable and accommodating, not very disciplined, not very no nonsense. I, I accept a lot of nonsense actually, which is bad. I'm trying to work on it. I want to stop, stop accepting nonsense from people. So the next assumption is you seem easygoing, like I know like trouble kind of person. <laughs> yes, I don't like trouble. I don't like trouble. And one reason why I don't like trouble is that I can go overboard. Like I'm not I'm one of those people that they are cool-headed until they are not okay when i want to start my own trouble here it's going to be fireworks volcano a uh, bomb nuclear weapon everything like is <laughs> uh, i take my own to the extreme so i that's why i really don't like trouble because i can take my own to the extreme if i want to um the next one is you live a peaceable life and it translates to your home yes i actually try to try to is the word i try to live a peaceable life and it translates actually you are con the next one is you are contemplating relocating to canada or a more sane environment because niger isn't cutting it yeah so i'm contemplating it seriously seriously niger isn't cutting it like i don't know I'm one of those people who i i don't know i'm going to, I, I feel like i'm going to be saying i don't know till i will i will live 100 years in nigeria like i feel like i'm going to keep contemplating it till to the end of the world okay i feel like i'm one of those people who are going to keep saying i want to leave this country i want to leave this country and i will end up not leaving okay so i'm contemplating it seriously nigeria no fits me at all but yeah i assume you don't want any more kids i've said that before 
I assume you're a deep thinker. Yes, I am. Like, <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. <laughs> Sometimes my mom used to tell me, girl, like, can't you relax your brain? Relax your brain. Relax your brain. I, and my brain is actually not relaxed. Like, I don't know, even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking things that I shouldn't be worried about. Anyway, next one is, I assume that most of your heated arguments with your husband, you initiated it. <laughs> Yes, I am the one that used to initiate the argument in this house because if we leave my husband, he will not talk. He will just be carrying face two for seven. It's not like carrying face after he's angry, you know. He's just like kind of person that doesn't just like to talk. So I'm gonna just be like, what I wanna, I'm the one that used to go and poke the beer to just hear what he has to say, you know. <laughs> one time I was telling him that that our quarrel it doesn't know our quarrel is actually for me. Like it's only when I quarrel with him that I sometimes I hear what his thoughts are on some certain issues i don't know if you guys get me but yeah it's only when we quarrel that i really know his real thoughts on some certain issues ordinary when, he, when you ask him some questions he will just give you yes or no answer he won't elaborate it can be very annoying i'm, I'm dealing with it now i'm getting used to it now but <laughs> when we first got married it was it was it was a problem like you ask somebody a question the person tell you yes and you're waiting okay yes meaning that he will not be like, I've answered you and I'm like, you've not answered me, telling me yes is not the answer. You, you know, people know how this thing works now. So yes, I'm the one that has to start it. So the next one is, you are extremely wealthy. <laughs> okay, let me just stop you guys here, okay? Because I've been joking since. Let me stop you guys here. We are catered for all our needs are met. But for right now, we are not physically extremely wealthy, okay? That's the only way I can say it without using my mouth to cancel my destiny. Right now, physically, we are not extremely wealthy. But in the spiritual realm and in the future, ahead. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, so yeah, we are extremely wealthy, but it has not yet translated to the physical realm. Okay? That's how we are saying But I'm not going to use my mouth and cancel my destiny. I will not say I am not because I am. <laughs> the next one is... I assume I know you're an awesome person. Thank you. Second one is I assume you want more babies. <sighs> you know the funny thing about Nigerians? People cannot allow somebody to have two children in peace. When I have three children, three children now, you will say, what of the fourth one? When I have the fourth one now, you will say, Madam, are you not tired of having too many children? I don't know why. Why is it that Nigerians cannot just allow somebody to have the number of children they want to have in peace? Eh? If I have three now, you will say number four. If balance it out now, you need to balance it. You need one more. When I now bring the one more, it's not be like, ah, ah madam, now wow, is it is it only childbearing you came to this world to come and do? You guys need to relax, isn't it? The next one is, I think you may want to have a male child in the future. Okay, okay. Next one is, I like your lifestyle and parenting style, not too strict, not too liberal. Thank you. Thank you. At least somebody is appreciating my parenting style. Yes, I'm not too strict, but I'm not too, I'm not too liberal either. The next one is, I thought you are pregnant. <sighs> Considering how long people have been talking that I am pregnant, how come you are not? You have not asked me where the baby is because if I calculate when people say I assume that I'm pregnant, by now that I've had two children, like if people should leave me alone now. <laughs> Okay, the next one is your husband is fine with any decision you make for yourself and the family. Yeah, actually to a large extent, yeah. He allows me to make decisions for myself and my family. And there's so many things that he agrees to now or he just goes with now. And me, I know that left for him, it will not work that way. But <laughs> marriage is about compromise. That I means that things me so I agree to now. That I left for me, I will not I will not follow in normal day. So it's a compromise. We are both compromising. You are you are a strong and wise woman. Your marriage is great. You have worked for it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Strong and wise woman. Hmm, thank you. I like to think so myself. Thank you. So yeah, that's it guys. Your assumptions were very interesting. A lot of them were true. A lot of them are like, I don't know where they came from. But yeah, a lot of them are true. And I really appreciate everyone who, you know, sent in their assumptions. If you're not following me on Instagram, you see, you have missed out. You would have sent me your own assumption. And very soon we're going to be doing a Q&A. So please go and follow me on Instagram so that I can, you know, get your own input in any discussion we're having on this channel okay yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys mm.